Welcome back to Insecurity. It is the final day of the last day before RSA starts, and we like to save the best for last, of hey. course. We've got Dr. Jessica Barker, who is a world-renowned speaker, company starter, and now newly published author. About to be published. Very cool. Do yeah, tell. Yeah, thank you. So I have a book coming out in June called Confident Cybersecurity, and it's, yeah, that's right, confident. Um, and it's all about cybersecurity from the technical, the human, and the physical angles. So it's an overview of the industry, and it's really aimed at anybody who wants to get a good understanding of all the different aspects of cybersecurity, full of case studies. So great for people who are starting out, or who are in another part of the business, or maybe they're even a board member, and they want to understand the field a bit better. Helping even the board members understand I know, these right? things. <laughs> it does feel like security, we've gotten so segmented, and that's now we're kind of recognizing maybe if we came back together and actually listened to our own nonsense about collaboration that things <laughs> might work a little bit better. Yeah, that's so true. To be honest, that's partly why we founded Sygenta. Um, so founded it with my husband. I come from the human side and the sort of the blue team. He's from the more technical and the more physical side and the red team. And we really felt like we can't keep looking at security in these silos. We need to bring it all together. What is it that when you're going through these things, you know what you're good at, what you have your PhD in, but you get the, what, it's not the luxury, the opportunity to interview all kinds of different experts. Anything in there that you were like, that's really cool. Uh, that like motivated you to learn more about something that you weren't as involved. So my PhD was actually was not in security. My PhD was in civic design. Before that, I uh, studied sociology and I worked in town planning. And so I've always liked to take from different disciplines and try and bring these things together, which is what really attracted me to security. And I feel like every day, I'm sure it's the same for you. I speak to someone, I read about something, I hear about something, and I think, wow, I want to know more about that. Um, and so I often have this with like the technical side of stuff because I work on the human side and I'm very focused on awareness and behavior and culture. I actually really love learning more about the technical side, partly so that I can then distill it and explain it in less complicated terms to the people that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis. But I think that mindset of wanting to learn more, being excited about something you don't know about is actually what often unites us in security. Now with Sygenta, as you said, your team has a, a really, God, I'm, I'm really going to say this, a 360 degree approach. Because we're holistic. Right. Oh, <laughs> I was trying not to say that. When you go in to sit down, whether it's boards or whoever, the technical people, do you find that they might be dubious about the notion of the human side of things or that the people that you were dealing with in HR are like, ah, those tech nerds can't deal with anything like that. Like, what kind of obstacles do you find most frequently you have to deal with when you come in to present? When I first started out in the industry, I think that was absolutely true. Like nine, ten years ago, I would say I worked on the human side and people, particularly on the more technical side, would be like, what even is that? What does that mean? I think those barriers are starting to break down now, um, where people understand actually the human side is really important and we need to have a balance between the human, the technical and the physical. But I definitely see, of course, it's gonna take a while. There's still those barriers there. Um, one challenge I often come across is with board members um, or executives, you know, who will feel that, well, this can all just be done by tech, you know, can't this just, isn't this just IT, can't yeah. they handle it? Where's and the AI to solve yeah, that problem? Exactly. Um, that's starting to change, but it takes time. So time is one thing we are running out of because it's getting dark and it's getting very cold out here, but it's always time for shameless plugs. Again, let's talk about the book. Where can they find you, Sygenta, all the stuff that, that sure. you guys are getting up to? So on the web, you can find us, sygenta.co.uk. Find us on Twitter at Sygenta HQ. Find me on Twitter at Dr. Jessica Barker. And the book's coming out in June, Confident Cybersecurity. Follow me on Twitter and I am... I'm guaranteed to tweet about it. She really is. She's a great follower, too. There's all kinds of good stuff going on, and, and <laughs> plus some really fun pictures of what she and FC get up to. So. Yeah, and shoes. And how could we possibly and be? The shoes. Probably one of the few people in the world I will give up the shoe game to. No. So just saying, it's, okay. it's very strong this week. <laughs> you know, for us, you can find all the good stuff at threatvector.silence.com. We're also at Silence Inc. and at Blackberry and LinkedIn and Facebook. I'm Matt Stevenson. Look for me at PacMatt73. It's cold, and I'm going inside.